So let's go ahead and take the wing of the Revo down and then we're going to put it back up. First thing you need to do is take the windshield off. These are quarter turn fasteners. You can simply turn them with your fingers, but a dime or a screwdriver might work better. Um, turning the two center ones first is, makes it a little bit easier to do. And then you can come to the outside one. You'll need to remove the armrests if the Revo is equipped with it. Otherwise, um, just the seat back comes off and there are two quick pins. So I'm removing the retainers and now the pin. And the second pin and then take the seat off. So it's our folding compression strut and this is kind of what makes it all possible to do this as easily as we do it. I'm going to slide this up slightly, put one of the pins back in partially, and then I'm going to break this. Now what this does is a couple of things. One, and it's uh, one of the pet peeves I used to have, is this connection up front, and if you want to get in a little closer, these can be very hard to line up. And with the folding compression strut, it allows you to just put, put it in tension free, and you can see I can put this where it needs to go. But more importantly, we need to put the control bar on the outside of the compression strut. We're going to put this junction back together again that easy. We're going to fold this out straight and then lock this with me so far. And you're going to turn this. It's just uh, unscrews. It's a big half inch bolt that anchors this. and you're going to remove that. Now you simply lift the control bar up over your head so it, till it locks. Now you bring this, and what's nice about this is you don't have to worry about the compression strut scratching the paint. And now you can just bring this down to the floor. And then if you're gonna remove it completely, you pull the nose down you notice the park brake wasn't even locked for this. And now the weight is off of the aircraft. If you're going to remove it, now is a good time. You hit the brake and you lock the park brake. And now you're stable. Now for taking off the wing itself, which you want to do a little trick, uh, put the seatbelt around the front seat back. And what this will do is it'll stop the mast from lowering because there is no gas charge shock in it. And then you just come over here to our Jesus bolt, take the safety pin out, remove the uh, exactly nut, the place and, I know I and pull the Jesus bolt out. Very large Jesus bolt. And then break it away. And don't forget to disconnect your 12-volt uh, supply to the electric trim motor. To stow this cleanly, I like to just slide it right back down the mast itself, and you can just slide that in. Moving to the nose of the trike, you're gonna stand here, and then just bring the nose down to the ground, and then come on around the wing. And now release the brake, roll the trike back, separated. Put it back up. I'm going to release the park brake with the hydraulic valve. I'm going to lift up on the nose of the wing until it locks. And you can see it's locked. And then you get to lift up. Lock this. Bring it down. Put the bolt back in. Nice and tight. You're going to slide this up. 
flip this to the other side. Put your pin back through. Safety retainer. Now this time we pull this out, over, through, through. Safety retainer, safety retainer. And the windshield snaps on. You don't need a screwdriver or a dime or anything like that. And then you do the center ones last. Done.